So it seems like we've got rain almost every day for the past week. The ground is completely saturated and water has got inside of the livestock barn and it has saturated all of the bedding that we had inside. So it all needs to come out. So it looks like the rain is gonna stop sometime after lunch today, and then hopefully we have uh, no rain for the next few days, and this will get all nice and dried out. Come on, chickens. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Find somewhere else to hang out. Oh, you're on the wrong way. Come All right, the barn is looking a lot better. We got it cleaned out. But it's still pretty wet in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this other door and then hopefully we can get a breeze flowing through here and it'll help dry everything out. And it looks like the rain just stopped and hopefully it's done for the day. So as we cleaned out the barn today, we put everything in our new compost pile location. So this is closer to the front of the property. It's closer to the white pole barn. And I'm hoping in this location, right now we got these trailer frames sitting out here, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to get to this from different sides and be able to, to turn the compost. Plus we'll have just a lot bigger area to be able to make this pile. We ain't gonna be confined to that smaller compost bin that we had. All right, I just got a phone call. I had ordered some stuff and a semi truck's gonna be here in a few minutes and I need to go up front and get it unloaded. So I did end up buying more solar right there's batteries. And I got these a few weeks ago, and this is 20 more solar panels. And that's enough solar panels to completely cover the rest of the roof on the workshop. And this is gonna be more of a budget build. Uh, it should be less than half the cost of what we did last year with solar, but this should take us to where we're almost 100% making our own power. So just in the solar panels alone, I think these were 35 cents a watt, and last year I think I paid somewhere between I don't remember if it's 57, 62 cents a watt, something like that. So, I mean, it's almost um, 
40% cheaper right there just buying the solar panels this year. Overall, I think the costs are going down, but there's some really good deals out there. I think there are some maybe even getting below 30 cents a watt for a solar panel, which is really good. So I know a lot of viewers don't like the, the solar content, but this is all part of my journey towards self-sufficiency. We are already growing almost, I would say 95% of our, our own meat for the freezer. Uh, we still got a ways to go in the garden for growing our own vegetables, but we also want to have be independent as far as power is concerned and create uh, hopefully all our own power in the future, or at least the majority of it. And this is all a part of that journey to become self-sufficient. Now I am, I do have an electrical background, I have an electrical degree, and this is where I geek out on this kind of stuff right here. This is the stuff that I really kind of enjoy and have an interest in. And I'm considering making a separate channel that is strictly just solar so that I can get more into the details and talk about it more and get more in depth on those kind of things. And um, so that's something I am considering doing. I, I still think I'll show like the overall construction and the build and kind of like the big picture of, of the solar installs on this channel. Uh, I don't like to totally go over people's heads on it or just go too in depth. I'd like to keep things more entertaining on this channel, but I am considering making a separate solar one just so I can kind of dive into this a little bit more just because that's more my background and it's more that the stuff that I'm kind of personally interested in it you know and get enjoyment out of that so even though everything is soaking wet out here I do have plants that I am growing for the garden that are inside that I need to get watered so let's let me show you guys I haven't showed you guys anything for garden prep this year so let me show you what we got going on So down here in the basement, we've got our grow shelf set up. I've got more lights. We've got a total of four shelves with plants on it. We are a little bit behind. This is broccoli that I just watered. Down here, we got two trays of flowers for Rebecca. So we're doing a couple things different this year. We've got onions in this plug tray here. I don't use these trays, and I thought this was a good way to maybe use them. And down here we've got soil blocks. This is my first time messing with soil blocks. There's definitely like an art form to being able to do this. And I've got a total of seven different varieties planted here. And out here are the chestnut trees that we're growing. And we're just starting to get the trees popping out of the ground. I don't know if you can see that. That little red thing right here. This is the tree sprouting. And there's one over here on this one. I see one down there. I've seen about six. So they're just starting to sprout. So this here is the soil block maker that I ended up buying. It makes four blocks at a time. And I thought we'd just go ahead and make a few and I can show you how this works. So the real trick behind this is getting the right soil consistency between soil compost and the moisture level, getting that all right so that it stays together. And then you take your soil block maker, you just press it down in there, you just keep on pressing until it's completely full. Then we're going to take like a little drywall knife, we're just going to kind of flatten the bottom, make sure the bottom's completely filled in. And if it's wet enough, it will come out off of the soil block maker. And if you got the right consistency, it won't fall apart. Getting them to fall off sometimes is a little tricky. So 
So this here is the third recipe or the third mixture I've tried. I'm trying to get the soil consistency right. And you can see the soil blocks make a nice little dimple for you to plant your seeds inside of there. Put some cabbages in this row. And put some lettuce in these. So I'm going to go ahead and push the soil kind of back over the seed, just barely. You could also sprinkle a little peat moss or potting soil back over the seed just to cover it up. I went ahead and I moved these soil blocks around so they're in the types of lettuce and the cabbage that I planted them in. Now this may have looked easy, and this last part was, was easy. It was fairly easy once you get the mixture right. The problem is making the soil, you just can't use it right out of a bag like potting soil or anything. What you gotta do is you have to sift it. It all has to be small pieces. You can't have the sticks or the bigger pieces mixed in there. So I made a sifter where I could sift our homemade compost and where I could sift you know, some of the potting mix and stuff that I had for growing plants and, and got that mixed together and getting the consistency right has been the trick. This one doesn't seem, I think I'm about right. I think I've got it about right. So according to my Clyde's garden planner, if I set this on my last frost date, I could have started direct sowing carrots in the garden like last week. And then two weeks ago, I could have transplanted our broccoli out there. Um, but the garden is so wet, everything is so wet, I haven't been able to get out there and like get everything kind of cleaned up in the garden and get it ready for this year. But I'm only like two weeks behind and that is like the earliest that you could plant it. So I mean it doesn't mean you actually have to plant it that early. So um, a couple weeks behind really ain't that bad. Now I always use this Clyde's Garden Planter to kind of help me as I plant my seeds and know when to plant them outside, when to plant them inside. Very useful tool. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested in buying one. I'm like, I have a discount code for this. And if they still have the Country View Acres version, I think he's still got a couple hundred left. He'll, he'll mail that to you if he still has any left. Well, the day has definitely turned out to be a nice day this afternoon. Look at those blue skies now. But it is still extremely windy out here. Let's see if the barn's looking a lot better. Oh yeah. Looks like the floor is pretty well dry. Well, the sides aren't dry. In fact, over here, we've got a puddle right here on the ground. But it's definitely looking a lot better. Smells a lot better in here, that's for sure. And look, there's Hunter. How you doing, buddy? So we actually have a couple friends coming over tonight, and I think Rebecca is inside making some type of dessert. So let's go see what she's doing. All right, Rebecca actually has the dessert complete. What'd you end up making? Peanut butter pie. You got a little fancy there. Actually, I've seen you make... I did it a little more simple, actually. Yeah, that's, that's more simple. I've seen you have it where there's like all different types of candies and everything all over the top. Yes. So it's so. just peanut butter chips and chocolate chips melted on top so yeah. didn't you have like peanut butter cups or something on one of them and yeah peanut butter cups and peanut butter chips and yeah yep yeah which it was like super rich is this one gonna be as rich as the last one? Oh, it's still rich yeah oh yeah you well, only looks... need a small sliver yeah but it looks good yeah so i ended up taking a couple vacation days so i actually have a long weekend and hopefully the weather has changed for the better hopefully it stays like this Hopefully everything dries out and we can get outside and get some stuff done. So I'm hoping to get, you know, make some major strides this weekend. I'm hoping that I can get those trees cleaned up, maybe get uh, some fence bracing started, and I might even try to clean up the garden as well. That may be a lot to try to get done over the next few days, but I got, uh, I got high hopes I'm going to at least get something done. But I think that's going to be it for this video. So hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.